So I'm with Mystic Moon. They convey the they convey the artistry and the essence of Fleetwood Mac. Their vocals and their stage presence is gonna take you back in time. They're gonna play all the hits. They got 900 people going. 14,000 people that are interested in going and thousands and thousands of shares. They're going to be at the Great Festival September 14th at 7 p.m. in the Beer Garden. So make sure to see it. Just looking out in the audience and seeing how much enjoyment um, we bring to the crowd, and uh, so many people are huge Fleetwood Mac fans, huge Stevie Nicks fans, and uh, Tom Petty as well. We're going to have a few Tom Petty songs, so we're really looking forward to it. It's awesome. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, where does the name Mystic Moon come from? Nothing special, actually. My first CD was uh, Magic Moon, so kind of Stevie Nicks has got a moon theme, you know, throughout her career, and um, so we we're just trying to find something that sounded kind of witchy and you know Stevie Nicks like and. Um, Kind of what we came up with. Were you aware that there's going to be a full moon the night that you guys are going to play? <laughs> I know, no. That's going to be interesting. Crazy. Is there anything that you would tell the community of Lodi that you want to, that comes from the heart? Like, oh, just uh, keep supporting local music and support local musicians. That's kind of where our heart is. We put our heart into this and you know, we do it for them. You know, we local do it for artists. the public, you know? Yeah, so, it's all about yeah. local artists. Yeah. What are you guys, uh, are you excited about on Saturday? <laughs> Getting the name of this band out there as much as we can. And I'm working pretty hard for the last year or two. And this is kind of a, a little homecoming, you know, because it's low life. Yeah. So um, a lot of us have never gotten to play the great festival, so it's going to be kind of cool to do that. It's in front of uh, hopefully a really good crowd, you know. And, um, and yeah, just just right. keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're going to up this event in celebration of a great band. Yeah. Great band, great music. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had the fortune last year as a band. Uh, actually, on my birthday, we went and saw them at Full One in Sacramento. You know, it, was, it was kind of cool. It was like school was in. Yeah. You know, we as a band, we got to sit there and watch the real thing. Oh, that's awesome, so, man. That's pretty cool. Sounds like a great experience. Yeah. yeah. So, All right. You know what I see? Roll along. All right, that's cool, man. Thank you. For me, I'm totally pumped because I get, uh, while I'm sitting in for Bill, the guitar player, and I get to jam with all these cool people here, um, Mary Rose and, uh, and Dustin and Christine and Dave and John. They're all great, um, great musicians. They're always fun to play with, and I even um, we get to blend some of my Tom Petty stuff into the deal. So it's, um, it's exciting because we always have a good time no matter what we do. But it's awesome, man. There's going to be a big crowd, so that kind of feeds my energy a Are you going to do any crowd surfing? you going to jump into the... Oh, no. No? Just like that? Sure? I wouldn't hate to throw my back out. <laughs> but yeah, I would, I'm, I'm totally... Well, whenever... That, that would be a little... Thing. We get the crowd going. Yeah. It would be a big crowd. These guys are always fun to play with. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just blessed to be here with my friends. Um, anyway, that's how, that's how it all started. It was I was singing back up, and I said, you know, my husband and I have been really interested in starting a Fleetwood Mac tribute band. We are such big fans of Fleetwood Mac, and I think I might be able to play the part of Christine McPhee. And so, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would accomplish studying this person who has got such a high level of musicianship and, and legacy and a legend in her own right because she is the one that's responsible for writing a lot of their songs um, and not always was 
you know, um, was not always put front and center about it. Um, Lindsey Buckingham, of course, he wrote and he produced a lot of their music. So, um, but Christine McVie is a phenomenal musician and uh, amazing songwriter and wrote a lot about love and hardships as well. Everything that I can relate to. So, okay. I just really enjoy it. Uh, So remember guys, they play all over Northern California. They play at private parties, at events, fairs, wineries. Make sure to follow their page so you can stay up to date on their next concert because they're amazing.